Happy Fry Fry Friday. Stand by for Fryness. It's Guppy Nation, baby. Stay tuned. All right, fishy folks, if you follow me on any one of the social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, or even the Facebook, uh, I posted a picture a couple days ago of Black Moscow Fry, and it was pretty hard to see them, but after a few days of power feeding, uh, they are showing up on camera much better. You can see how many there are just swimming around i counted uh 10 12 14 and 17 and uh i don't really know how many there are they're too small and too fast to count but there's a lot first uh drop of fry i'm not sure uh which mama dropped them because all three of the mamas look pretty plump still so i'm guessing there's more to come from the others so that's black moscow fry i got at the uh das auction danbury area aquarium society which was about a month ago i don't want to bash any local fish clubs because they're awesome but they told us we would get paid in about two weeks and it's now uh, longer than two weeks it's almost five weeks and i haven't gotten paid Someone else got paid yesterday. They got their check in the mail. Maybe mine is coming today. I don't know. It's one of the things you have to sort of look out for. This is not really the best shirt to be filming with. I mean, it's it's wear red day at work uh, for women's heart, uh, women's heart stuff to support women's heart health. Um, and it's really the only shirt I have with red in it, other than a nice, cool Michael's Fishroom T-shirt, which. They probably would frown upon me working, wearing at work. So, sorry about the glare. Can't do anything with it. Where else are there frying the fish room, you, you ask? Well, let's just walk down here to the really cloudy, not cloudy, but uh, dirty glass white molly tank. And I don't know if you can see that one through the dirtiness of the glass. Yeah, there's a couple frying there. Now, they are not snow white like I thought they were going to be when they came out. And I spoke to the breeder, Super Breeder Steve. Um, I got these at the same auction. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, he's like, they'll turn white. Don't worry. Okay. I'm not worried. If he says they're going to turn white, they're going to turn white. Um, lots of plans in the fish room this weekend. Uh, I still have to start to redo all the water lines. I have to clean up the disaster. Uh, I want to clean up the floor. I want to clean behind the the rack i also want to scrape algae like this helps for filming uh so i don't know what we're actually going to do if anything what we're going to get done all right that's enough of me complaining about my fish room um more fry i mean there's fry in most of the guppy tanks uh there's some fry in this tank you know this was a i think we called them red tuxedos maybe but uh i had i didn't really care much about this tank and now there are some really cool mutts so like like look at that look at that sunburst with the metallic body that is spectacular though these guys will be for sale at the nec as part of the mutt tank see that one that female's got some nice healthy poop always a good sign all right sorry talking about poop in the morning uh, I think there's fry in here, but the fry really like to hide in this with these uh, red Moscow's. Red Moscow's? Is that what these are called? I forgot. <clears throat> Richard O'Connor said I should label all my tanks, and he's right, I should. I have the label maker all set to go, I just haven't labeled them. Uh, these German half black AOCs, there are some fry in here. Obviously, you can see them. Uh, actually, that's like a pretty big fry, but where else are there like new baby born fry? Um, oh, in here, in this cobra tank, you can see some little fry. Lots of reproducing going on in here. Look at how stunning these guys are. These guys will also be at NEC. Um, sold in pairs. 
I believe I'm going to have some sort of guppy breeding for profit uh, kit. It'll be a trio of guppies, some guppy food, some fry food, and some java moss. At least that's the plan. Um, just to help people out, help people get started. Speaking of NEC, this pair of real red eye albino guppies will be for sale uh, at the show. Uh, but you have to let me know if you want them or not, and then I'll bring them. So if you're interested, please, please email me. The price is $20 for the pair. Um, if you're interested in me shipping them, I will start shipping when it gets warmer. Uh, I received another order yesterday for something. And that hopefully everything will ship the beginning of March. Or if we get a warm snap for a week or so. But... Uh, it was 33 degrees here last night, and I imagine it's under 30 this morning, so not shipping yet. All right, more fry. You want to see fry because it's Fry Fry Friday. I, I feel you. There's some fry in this American koi uh, guppy tank. Now, these guys aren't breeding true. Um, the breeder I got them from got them from another breeder, and uh, he said they're breeding true for him, but... I don't know if these are, you know, another generation, but they're not breeding true. So these most likely I will be separating some of these and trying to keep, you know, that look. Um, see the metallic green body with the purple and pink tail, almost like the pink pastel steel nebulas I used to have. Um, or they just might go in the mutt tank. Not really sure. All right, I think that's not about it. Here's some more fry. Uh, purple guppies, these are the ones on Angelo. I sent Angelo one and he's had like 10 drops of fry in like 15 minutes or something. Um, looks like there's quite a few females as in most of my batches of fry, but I do see what appears to be males based on the color of their body. It's hard to sex them when they're that small. It's almost impossible. Um, so, but you can see there's literally a poop ton of fry in there, right? So, um, I think that's about it for like new baby tiny itty bitty fry. So, yeah, just a quick fry, 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 Friday video for you. And I'm just looking around. Uh, Tanaka maple leaves. I don't think there's any new, new fry. I, there have been at least two drops since I got them. Um, and unfortunately, I've only seen one male. So if you know exactly what's causing that, some people say it's heat. Well, I, I've added a heater uh, to a couple of the fry tanks to see if I can get more males. And uh, I don't, I don't know that it's working yet. It might not have, uh, I might not have used used enough time. I might not have. Um, enough data as far as time goes to determine if that's the case or not so if you have any idea let me know and i think like i said i think that's it for new baby fry so i hope everyone has a great fry fry friday a great saturday and uh hopefully gonna have a spectacular sunday fun day i think sunday i'm gonna do an update video of the planted tank um i plan and uh, I plan to do a water change, but I plan to do a water change in that tank the last two weeks and I haven't done it. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at the blue flannel plecos cause they are spectacular. Um, if you're interested, send me an email. Uh, I do have two sold and one of them is mine, but I would be willing to part with it or perhaps source some more if you are interested. So let me know. Have a great Fry Fry Friday, people. Check out the website, michaelsfishroom.com. And, uh, you know, maybe buy a t-shirt from Teespring. Check out the link in the description below for hashtag Guppy Nation, baby. Fry Fry Friday video? Yes, let's have one. Happy fry, 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 fry. <clears throat> Happy fry, fry, Friday.
Why, why do I insist on that stupid smile? Maybe I'll make a regular smile like this. No. 